welcome here once again to our channel so today we want to be talking about five of the best meat rabbit breed that you can choose for your rabbit meat production so stay with us so if you are new to this channel we make videos on rabbit farming how you can become a successful rabbit farmer and a pet owner so if that interests you do well to subscribe and click on the like button so the number one best of the best rabbits for meat production is the New Zealand White. So when talking about the New Zealand, we have the New Zealand Red, we have the New Zealand Black, we also have the New Zealand Blue. But the best of the best rabbit meat, rabbit for meat production, is the New Zealand White. So a lot of rabbit meat producers, a lot of companies who produce rabbit meat, prefer the New Zealand White. And some of the reasons why they prefer the New Zealand White is because their meat to bone ratio is very, very good. So New Zealand White is considered to be one of the best rabbits for meat production. So if you are someone who wants to go into rabbit farming for meat production only, or you want to go into rabbit farming to be able to produce meat as a whole, then you should consider going for the New Zealand White because the New Zealand White is certainly the best rabbit for meat production. So there are a lot of other advantages that comes with the New Zealand White, which is high litter like the new zealand whites give birth to a lot of babies and also the new zealand white has a very good parenting skills when it comes to the female rabbit taking care of the babies so if you are someone who wants to go into rabbit farming a lot of people will um, advise you to stick to the new zealand white if you are someone who wants to go in at the first timer you should stick to the new zealand white because they are very very good rabbits for meat production so the second best meat rabbit is the california rabbit so how can you identify this California rabbit? Unlike the New Zealand rabbit that has a pure white body and a red eye. Same way with the California rabbit. It also has a pure white body and a red eye. But the California rabbit has a black ear, a black nose, black feet, and also the black tail. So this is just a few difference within the um, New Zealand and the California. But besides that, both of them are just purely white rabbits with a red eye. So the California rabbit are also very great pets, are also very great meat rabbits. You know, we are not talking about pets. So when it comes to meat rabbit production, California rabbit is identified the second best meat rabbit all over the world. Yes, everyone can attest to that. Even if you check online on Google, anywhere you check, they are going to tell you that California rabbit are also the second best meat rabbit. So why do they classify the second best meat rabbit? The meat to bone ratio of this particular rabbit is very very great california rabbit has a very great meat to bone ratio so when it comes to meat rabbit farming california rabbit is considered the number two and also as the new zealand rabbit too also does the california rabbit also have a very great parenting skills when it comes to your female rabbit they have very great parenting skills they also give birth to a couple of uh, a couple good numbers of rabbits that like they give birth to plenty rabbits when it comes to giving birth to babies and they do take care of their babies so if you are considering starting up a rabbit farm then you should consider starting up with a california rabbit because it plays a very very good one it has a very great meat to bone ratio third best rabbit for meat production is the palomino rabbit so when talking about the palomino rabbits the palomino rabbit comes in a brown form like it looks brown palomino rabbit also is a very very great rabbit when it comes to meat production so if you are someone who wants to go into meat production you should also consider getting the palomino rabbit because it's also a great rabbit that has a very good meat to bone ratio you know so um when it comes to meat production as a whole palomino rabbit also plays a very great role palomino rabbit is an american rabbit and he also um weighs from about four kg and above depends on how well you being feed the rabbit you know most times you might even have a very good rabbit that grows very very well and if you don't feed it well the rabbit will not tend to grow well yes so as how well you feed the rabbit that is how well the rabbit is going to grow so the palomino rabbit is also a very very good rabbit for meat production so a lot of people do go into rabbit farming maybe you don't have a purpose on why you are going into rabbit farming you just went into rabbit farming because you love it so there are a lot of breeds you can consider getting this kind of breeds i've mentioned and i'm going to be mentioning more the, another breed I want to be talking about is the chinchilla, the American chinchilla rabbit. The American chinchilla rabbit is also a very, very good rabbit when it comes to meat production. The American chinchilla rabbit is also among one of the best when it comes to meat production. In short, when it comes to meat production, after the um, California rabbits, for me, I prefer the um, American chinchilla. 
why do i prefer the american chinchilla because the american chinchilla has a very stocky body and does not have too much of fur yeah american chinchilla we do not have too much of fur also with the palomino too so they all these rabbits are very good rabbits when it comes to meat production so if you are someone going into meat production you should consider getting the new zealand white rabbit the california rabbit the palomino rabbit the chinchilla rabbit and another rabbit i want to be mentioning for you guys to get i'm going to be telling you guys this particular one because uh not everyone in the world has this particular rabbit it's an improved breed mostly here in nigeria we have it at the hyla rabbit so hyla rabbit are basically um cross breed between the california rabbits and the new zealand rabbit that's how we got the hyla rabbit here in nigeria i don't know maybe some other people around the world might have it but i know not everyone all over the world have this particular hyla rabbit so the hyla rabbit are also very very great rabbit when it comes to meat production hyla rabbit is a cross breed between the new zealand and the california so we have what we call the hyla max the hyla max are the highlights that looks like the california then the hyla ng are the highlights that looks like the new zealand as you guys know maybe if you cross and have cars maybe if you cross a white man to a black woman you will definitely get maybe a black a black child or a white child so that's how it is some of them have these features all of, all around if you do cross breeding a lot so all these five rabbit breed i mentioned are very very good rabbit when it comes to meat production so before starting a rabbit farm or if you have already started rabbit farming you should consider getting some of these breeds in your farm cross them with those ones you have especially if you are someone who is not doing pure breeds you are just doing high breeds cross this uh, rabbit meat breeds with the rabbit you have currently in your farm so that you get very great results when it comes to rabbit farming in your farm when it comes to breeds of rabbits like the angora rabbit or the dutch rabbit some of these rabbits not that they, are, they can't be eaten as meat but they tend to have a lot of fur like the angora rabbit tend to have a lot of hair and the dutch rabbits tend not to grow very very big so a lot of people like keeping the angora rabbits like pets or you know the angora rabbit looks very very fine because it has a lot of hair so pe plenty of people like having them in their farm for like showcase or people coming to get them uh, fellow breeders like this particular angora rabbit because it has a lot of hair when looking at the angora rabbit it looks very very fine especially for females who wants to come buy rabbit as pets to your farm when they come to your farm they'll be like they want to get the angora so most times those are the kind of people we sell the angora rabbit for but when it comes to selling rabbits for meat like if you want to process a rabbit for a customer for meat like uh skinning the rabbit and all of that you definitely wa not want to go for an angora rabbit because after roasting out the fair you notice the rabbit is really really small so these are some of the kind of breeds you can consider getting as meat for your farm the new zealand the chinchilla the palominos the california white and also the highlands so for a lot of you guys that don't know what the highlands is the highlands are just basically cross breeds they are high breeds though they are high breeds that we got here in nigeria crossing the california white and the um new zealand white that was how we got to the highlands so some other best rabbit breeds some other good rabbit breeds are like the Saturn rabbit the havana rabbit they're also very very good rabbits for meat production so if you have the Saturn, if you have the havana they are also very very good rabbits when it comes to meat production so if this is your first time coming across our channel here in this channel we teach you basically rabbit farming and also other livestock farming as a whole we are going to be go going to many many farms and showing you guys a lot of things about livestock farming so if that's what you find interested consider liking this video just give us a thumbs up it keeps us going this is just the form of saying thank you i like this video so if you don't like it it means you did not actually learn from the video and maybe you don't like the video so if you did like it just give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell so when we post another video just like this you get notified from youtube thank you once again do have a nice day and until next time as i always say peace